Dear viewers, welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to see about the relays, how to wire them and their function. Even though there are different types of relays depending on their shape, their basic operating principle and their use is similar. Relays are used to serve as a switch. They are used to control a large current circuit with a small current. So there is an electro, we can say it is simply an electromagnetic switch. There is an electromagnetic wiring in here that will close and open a contact. So when the control circuit is turned on with a very small current, we can control a large current circuit. Now let us see how it operates. Schematically, when they are schematically presented, Well, we have the contact circuit and we have the control circuit. This is a schematic presentation of a relay. Now there are some designations on the circuit. This is 30, this is 87, and this is 85, this one is 86. So the idea is, when there is current flow through this coil, when there is current flow through terminal 85 and 86, this will be magnetized and it will close a contact point that will connect terminal 30 and terminal 87. Large current can flow through this line, whereas a small control current can be used to turn on and off this large current through the control circuit. This is a simple schematic presentation of most of the relays. As you can see, most of the relays terminal designation is like this, 85, 84, 30, and 87. This is for a four pin type relays like this type, for example. Here we have only four pins. There are other relays with five pin, which have a normally closed contact with 87, 87A, and 87 as a terminal. So let's see the inside of a relay. Let's see what it is constructed of and what it is made of. For example, this is a four-point relay. As you can see, there is a designation 85, 86, 30, and 87. If you look at inside, if you see the inside, see, we have a wire, a coil. There is an electromagnetic coil. When this coil is energized, See, there is a contact point. I don't know if it is visible. There is a contact point down on lower side. There is a contact point. That contact point will be actuated and controlled by this magnetism. So when this is magnetized, the contact point closes and current can flow from terminal 30 to 87. If there is no electricity provided to this winding, it is the spring will open the contact point. So there is there will be no current flow. So this is basically the construction. There are some resistance resistors are used to limit the current. Basically, this is it. If you see also the other types are also, they are of similar construction. For example, look at this. This is also another type of relay. It's a 12 volt relay. The designation is a slightly different. Instead of using 85, 86, 30, and uh, 37, 87, they are using like one, two, is a control circuit. If it is visible here, one, two is a control circuit, and three, four is a contact point circuit. So if you open this relay also, the internal construction will be similar. We have a contact here. See, now it is in contact, and we have a spring loaded actuator here it's the spring loaded so when the when this armature is pushing this down like so there is no continuity there is no current flow from terminal 3 to terminal 4 or 30 to 87 but when this is pulled by the magnetic coil and when it releases this will have a contact see here We have a magnetic coil. 
So even though the shape and uh, the construction methodology is different, internally, their internal construction is the same. We have a coil, and there is a spring. And we have this. And this is the armature. So this is how it operates. The so operating principle is almost identical. Now we have said that the purpose of a relay is to control a large current circuit with a small current. Now let us make a connection and prove that. For that we are going to use this relay. Let's bring in a terminal connector so that we can easily connect wires and electrical connection to it. And for our test, we are going to use these lights. We are going to control these lights. These bulbs are used for checking operation of a charging system. See, the bulbs are rated 12 volt and 45 watt. So the pretty high current flows through this lamp. And we are going to see if we can control this light with a small switch. Let's use this switch for this test. For this particular test, I'm planning to use this switch. This is taken from a combination switch. This is a very small switch with a very thin electrical connection. Let's see if we can control this large current drawing circuit with a small switch. Because we have said that is a function of a relay, controlling a high current circuit with a small switch where there is small current flow. Now to measure the current flow through the circuit, we will connect this ammeter in series. Now let's do the connection and I will get back to you when the connection is done and then we'll see how to control this with a relay and with a small switch. Well, if there is no designation on the relay, for example, if it is an old relay where the designations are removed, you can always use a continuity tester to identify the terminals. You can use a multimeter of this kind to check which is the control circuit. For example, on this relay, we put the multimeter on a resistance check, and then we find from these four which one have a continuity. Which one has continuity? No continuity here. See, these two have continuity. As you can see, these two have continuity. So it means these two will serve as a control circuit. That one is terminal 85 and one is terminal 86. The connection can be done either ways. It doesn't really matter. We can do the same on this type of relays also. If you don't know the designation, if there is no identification number, if that inscription is removed, you can always use a multimeter. Just check terminals with a continuity. No continuity between these two. See, here there is continuity. It means these two wires, they are the control circuit. So this way you can identify the terminal if it is a four type. If it is a four pin type, it's very easy. Now let's do the connection. We have a connector here, taken from a scrap yard fits nicely on this relay. And now let's identify which one is the control circuit. Out of these four wires, one is a contact point circuit that will be contact closed when the coil is energized. One will be the control circuit. So let's check. Between these two, no continuity. These two, 
we have continuity. So it means these two will be our control circuit. These two will become the load circuit. Now let's connect this to the light bulb. Let's put this line in the ammeter. Connect it to the ammeter. And let's connect this with the output here. This wires, I'm going to use these wires as a control. And let's connect this to battery positive. Let me connect these two together and connect them to battery positive. Now battery positive is supplied to the light. It needs grounding, so it will ground through the ammeter. Battery positive is supplied to the control circuit of the relay. This line will be grounded. Let's do the ground connection. Let's put this on battery ground and use it as a ground connection. So this is battery negative. Let's ground the light. Ammeter will be grounded. This battery negative. And this light switch. Provide this one. Battery ground. Everything is hooked up. Now let's check it once before powering it up. We have battery positive supplied to the contact point, terminal 30, terminal 87. It, it enters with terminal 30, exits with 87, goes through the load, comes to the ammeter, and can get, get ground. And the switch circuit, the switch we have here, the switch circuit, it's also connected. We have a battery power coming into 85. Then it comes through the switch. Switch is connected to the ground. Okay, circuit is set up. Now we're ready to check. We're ready to make the final test. Let's see. Do you see the reading on the ammeter? How much was it? Just look at the ammeter reading. When I turn on the circuit, the ammeter is reading 16 amps. 16 ampere of current is being operated with a tiny switch. And let's measure also the current flow that is passing through this switch. Let's connect ammeter in series. Now let's put this on ammeter. DC amps. And let's connect it in series. Let's connect it in series and see how much current it draws. See, 0 0.13 ampere. 
we are controlling this large circuit with 0.13 ampere. We, we controlled a 16 ampere circuit with 0.13 ampere control circuit. So, with a very small switch, we can control large current. So that's all we have for today. Dear viewers, thank you for watching. Please stay tuned if you like to see more videos of this kind. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel. And smash the like button if you like this video. If you want and they can provide me with comments and suggestions in the comment box down here. You can give me comments and if you have questions, you can raise them. If you want me to make videos on other topics, please mention them in the comment section down here. And I will get back to you as soon as I can.